On an undisclosed date in April 2019, an operation was carried out against a compound somewhere in Afghanistan. The exact units involved, the number of troops committed, and the operational objectives haven't been officially revealed at the time of making this video, although it has been confirmed by the Ministry of Defence that UK Special Forces, partnered with Afghan troops, conducted the mission. Inserted onto a designated landing zone under the cover of darkness, the assault force moved forward on foot to the Al-Qaeda-held compound, when they began to take fire from a lone insurgent who was dug in with a machine gun on the perimeter of the compound. Pinned down by the heavy fire, the UK Afghan force was unable to continue their assault without sustaining casualties, leading to one of the UK Special Forces operators, who was a dog handler, releasing his three-year-old Belgian Malinois dog called Kuno to deal with the enemy threat. Released from his leash, Kuno, without hesitation, ran out from cover across exposed open ground and charged into the enemy position, tackling the insurgent to the ground who, unfortunately, managed to get off a couple of shots at Kuno, wounding him in both his back legs. Despite the wounds he had sustained, Kuno continued to wrestle with the enemy fighter, thus preventing him from remanning his MG and enabling the assault force to move up and secure the dugout. The elimination of this position opened the way for the British and Afghan troops to press on to the compound, which they stormed and successfully secured a while later. Meanwhile, the UKSF handler recovered Kuno and evacuated him to a British helicopter, where the Belgian Malinois received medical treatment that stabilised the situation until arriving at a coalition medical facility. Here, Kuno underwent multiple operations to ensure his wounds didn't worsen, prior to being flown back to the UK by the RAF where he went through additional operations and extensive surgery, including having one of his back paws amputated to prevent it becoming infected. Fortunately, the medical treatment Kuno received significantly improved his situation, and throughout the summer of 2019, he underwent several rehabilitation programs to aid in his recovery and regain strength in his back legs. According to the Ministry of Defence, Within months, he was strong enough to be fitted with a pioneering custom-made prosthesis to replace his missing paw, alongside an orthotic brace to support his injured limbs. Eventually, Kuno made a full recovery but was unable to return to military service, and as such, he was medically discharged and rehomed, following two overseas deployments alongside the United Kingdom's Special Forces. Just over a year after his final military operation, it was announced by the Ministry of Defence on the 29th of August 2020 that Kuno was to be awarded the PDSA Dickin Medal, the animal equivalent to the Victoria Cross. British Defence Secretary Ben Wallace later stated, Without Kuno, the course of this operation could have been very different, and it's clear he saved the lives of British personnel that day. This particular raid was one of the most significant achievements against Al-Qaeda in several years. Kuno's story reminds us not only of the dedicated service of our soldiers and military dogs, but also the great care the UK Armed Forces provide to the animals that serve alongside them.